Welcome back to Booster Therapy, your cure for that pack cracking addiction. We're here with a shadow, a giant shadow. It's a box of War of the Spark because we don't ever get enough planeswalkers. We want more. And we're going to open them. And you're going to watch us do it. Thank you for watching us. That's real nice of you. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell. Get notified when we do more things. We do stuff. It's fun. We have fun, okay? Uh, yeah. Go into the description of the video. Feel free to become a patron of the channel. Our patrons, we do a lot of fun stuff. Where one, we crack packs for them, which is always nice at a pretty good price. The other thing we do is we have a sell list exclusive to our patrons where we sell cards for usually around 20% off of what the retail rate is or the market price is. And the last thing, head on out to noblenight.com. Supporting them supports us and Gideon. And you wouldn't want to let Gideon down because that would be a rude thing for you to do. All right, let's see what we can open. We've had a couple boxes opened already. This has been a lot of fun to open. This set's so cool. So much fun. We got our first Planeswalker, and it's Kaya, Bane of the Dead. And, oh, first pack is a real good mythic. Finale of Devastation. Pretty sure that's Galta running around there, right? Galta, maybe? Maybe one of the other dinosaurs. I don't know. All right, so we'll go Mythic, Rare, Planeswalkers, Foils. There we go. I feel organized now. Oh, I can relax and just enjoy a really good set. Wizards, you've been doing some good things lately. We appreciate it. And we got Jang Yangu, the Wild Crafter. And we got the Plain Wide Celebration. Real good card for limited. Do not doubt it. I mean, at a bare minimum, seven mana to basically restore your life total. Not bad. Oh, we got Angrath, Captain of Chaos. I love this one for limited. This is real good. And we got the store of Devkarin Lich. Curious to see if anybody ends up building some fun commander decks around that. I did actually open a foil one, I think in the last box or maybe a couple boxes ago. It's real good. And Teferi Time Reveler. This guy, real good. I mean, at bare minimum, three mana, you get to return a permanent for the most part, draw a card, and he survives that interaction. That's just crazy good. Oh, all right. We got a foil mythic. We got Ilrog, Ilharg, the Raze Boar. This is the only god I haven't opened yet, so why not open a foil one? If you wanted him as your commander, eat your heart out, because this guy is going to be a commander. Woo, we got a foil mythic. All right. Well, folks, we call that a case hit. What that means, if you've never heard that term before, is a case has six booster boxes in it. Usually one, sometimes more, but typically at least one box is going to have a foil mythic. So there it is. Ab Nixilis, the Hate Twisted. And our rare is Parhelion 2. Another bomb for limited. Really, really powerful. Yeah, we barely open packs and I already feel real good about this box. How can you not when you open a foil mythic? Can we get a seven mythic box? That would be exciting. Ashiok Dream Render. And a rare is Mizium Tank. That's right, there is another. There's three vehicles in this, three at least. I forgot about this one. And we got another foil. We got the Grim Initiate. Look at his head just disappears. Whoop, gone. Whoop, gone. Gone. Whoop. Maybe it doesn't disappear as much as it looks like it's a straight up skeleton. That's his spine. All right. Whoa, I wonder if past it. We got a foil. A spicy foil. We got a mythic again. Liliana Dreadhorde General. I have opened one of these in every single box, and I think it's still one of the most expensive mythics. And then we got a foil hippo. A foil zombie hippo. That's purple. That makes sense. Yeah. Alright, come on. Let's get a Gideon. I think Gideon is 
silly broken for standard. I don't even know how it's going to withstand that power. It's so good. We got Jaya, or maybe Yaya. Yaya? Jaya? Venerated Fire Mage. And Command the Dreadhorde. I do love this card. I mean, again, reanimate on steroids. Real strong. Man, it is really late right now. I'm a little tired, but I just couldn't. I just needed to open a box. I knew we were going to get that foil mythic. Watley, the sun's heart. It's a fun card. And Awakening of Vitugazi. This is crazy. Five mana, you get a 9-9 nine, nine at instant speed. I mean, come on. I, I don't know if it's going to... I don't play standard that much. I can see that finding, and it's, it's just so good. Like, I don't know how it doesn't, but... Maybe it's not efficient enough, but in a draft, that's that card's ridiculous. Ooh, Ugin's Conjurant. This is a pretty cool card. And Rawl, Storm Conduit. Nice little Planeswalker. All right. What have I not opened yet? What do we need? Got ball. You know, I don't think I've gotten a Niv Mizzy yet. My visit Samet, Tyrant, Smasher, and Time Wipe. Just not a big fan of the whole control mechanics. I'm more of an aggro player, I guess. Or maybe mid range. I guess that's definitely kind of mid range. -y. Kasmina, Enigmatic Mentor, and Soul Diviner. Love the potential that this card has. Real good. The other card I'm a big fan of is kind of the Bitter Blossom Light. Not quite as good. Again, it's a it's a go tall versus a go wide strategy, which isn't as good typically. But you know, to, ha to ha let standard have a mechanic like that is crazy. Uh, Davriel, Rogue Shadow Mage, and Dread Horde Arcanist. I wonder in a month from now, or maybe let's talk even closer to rotation, which which of the cards and more of the spark are going to kind of shine as certain sets kind of walk away from standard. Kiora, Behemoth Beckoner. I do love this card. A lot of commander potential. And then Tomic, Distinguished Advocist. This guy is a real nasty hater. Just a hate card. Wants to punish you people. In so many ways. Arlen, voice of the pack. This one, um, if you had a chance to watch the werewolf uh, deck tech, this is now in there. I did remove one of the weaker werewolves for it. This card's just too good to not be in there. And then we got Neheb, Dreadhorde Champion. This card's crazy good, too. I wish he was just... Two colors instead of the one, though. I mean, his commander potential is so good. Kind of similar, but only better than Rada. The Wanderer. If you didn't know, again, this is in Rockul in disguise. And Roll Reversal. Man, did I pay for it with this card. This card's real good. Real, real powerful. Ooh, and then we got the Guild Globe foil. Well, I think we're approaching that halfway point on the box. Getting about halfway through. Got three Mythics already, one of them being a foil. Things are looking good. Nahiri, Storm of Stone. And we got Bolas's Citadel. I love this card. And we got a foil Watley's Raptor. Look at that evil dinosaur. His teeth are all shiny. Another really good one for the draft, being able to proliferate like that. Getting a body, two, three vigilance for two, and proliferating. Real good, so it's got a little bit more value even late in the game. Ooh, Jace, Wielder of Mysteries. Every box I've gotten has had a Jace in it, too. Not bad. You need a Jace? I got Jaces.
How many boxes have you guys opened? Let us know in the comments below. I'm curious if you're having fun opening this set. I mean, it's just, to me, it just feels like there's so much power. There's so much fun, so much potential for really every format too. Tybalt, Rakish Instigator, and a, didn't we already open this? Storiv, Dev, Karen, Lich. I feel like I'm, I don't know if you got to see the other box. Check out the box I opened before this one. A lot of duplication. Some of it was good. I mean, I, I think I got a duplicate blast stone. Um, so there's, there's, you know, you're not always sad, but it, it's a little weird when it's a full set to see so much duplication. Angrath, Captain of Chaos. And widespread brutality. Potential board wipe with a body attached to it is always good. Dovin Hand of Control. This is a nasty one in a draft. Oh boy. And this is not. This is a terrible rare. Silent Submersible. You couldn't sell me on why this card's good. Just awful. Said my piece. Nobody's happy about that. Firemind's Vessel. This is a sneaky good one for commander players out there. I mean, you're essentially ramping for two for four color and two of colored mana for four colorless is nuts. And we got Vivian Champion of the Wilds. Boy, do I love this card too. Real good. Just the static ability of you know casting creatures with flash. Already enough. Three mana, I'm pretty cool with that. Grothama was super happy to see Vivian. If you didn't see the Grothama deck tech, check that one out. I had a lot of fun with that one. Damri, Anarch of Bolas. Isn't it fun to see all of these Planeswalkers at rare? I can't get enough of it. This is so good. Honestly, so we all know that Dominaria was crazy good. Super successful, amazing set. It's going to be worth hundreds of dollars at some point. I think this set's better, honestly. Um, Nixless, the Hate Twisted. It reminds me so much of Ignite the Beacon. This is also good for any of you guys playing Tracks of Super Friends. It's just, uh, oops, wrong pile. It's just so, so much potential. I mean, it feels a lot like Lorwyn when you we change the entire format by introducing Planeswalkers. It's just kind of going to the next level, and it's a lot of fun. Teo, the Shield Mage, is one of our new Planeswalkers. And Solar Blaze, another potential board wipe in this set. This set has so much removal. I'm wondering, I was talking to somebody the other day about the, the pending Eternal format that's coming. And maybe it's like Extended was, where it does have some sort of rotation, but it's a, a you know, the standard Extended kind of thing. If it is eternal, though, I wonder how much this set's going to be worth. Long road. Sahili, Sublime Artificer. And the Dreadhorde Arcanist again. Ooh, we got a Foil Cures Dam Breaker. Dam Breaker! All right, we need to get on the Mythic Train because we're getting towards the bottom of the box, and I do not want to see any more duplicates unless it's uh, another Ilharg. Sarkon, the Masterless. I haven't opened one of him yet. I kind of forgot about him. Turn all your Planeswalkers into dragons. Ooh, we get another foil rare. Well, we got a Mythic and a rare. Dreadhorde Butcher. This is actually a really good one. Nice. All right. Let's close this box out strong. That was a good pack. Let's get Oketra. I like Oketra. Ooh. Jaya, Venerated Fire Mage. And, hey, we got a mythic Rolesque. <laughs> Rolesque? I think it's Rolesque. Apex Hybrid. Ooh, I butchered that at first. You know, the other thing I haven't seen much of is uh, that, that beautiful Hydra for uh, Super Friends. The Super Friends Hydra. I'd love to get some of those. Vraska, Swarm's Eminence. And the Elder Spell. Sure, it'll be a staple. 
Dread Melkin. Look at that evil little cat. That's a cat, right? That is hideous. Oh boy. Six, seven packs left. We need a couple more mythics at least. And I want, I really want that Hydra. I don't think he's worth that much. I just want him. Narset, part of Veils. Another really good one. And, oh, we got Niv Mizzet. We get another mythic. Niv Mizzet Reborn. No longer is Niv Mizzet, is it? He's everything. All right. Well, five mythics, one of them being that foil. Pretty nice little box. Foil God is always good. And Chandra Fire Artisan. We are getting all the good Planeswalkers. Come on, another, another big method. Let's do it. All right, Watley, the Sun's Heart. And, ooh, Enter the God Eternals. This is so good. Removal, game life, and a body. All for five mana. Man. Could you imagine if that was an instant? I can guarantee it would see play. A sorcery, maybe not, I guess. Arlen, voice of the pack again. And another Mizium tank. Look at all these duplications. That's three duplicate rares in this box. Has anybody else seen that? I... I I honestly think the last box I opened had three three or four duplicate rares. And again, this is a full set. You know, it's got the full 250 something. 264. I mean, come on. There's no reason for that nonsense. Ugin, the ineffable. Every box has an Ugin. It's amazing. And La Rune Enforcer. I'm serious. Every box I've opened has Ugin in it. I even had Ugin in my pre-release kits. It's ridiculous. He's so good. Kaya, Bane of the Dead. We started with her in a mythic. Can we get another mythic with her? Nope. Single combat. Ooh. The foil of Vraska Swarm's Eminence. All right. Oh. I didn't even notice that we're on the last pack. It's the last pack of the box. Five mythics. We need six mythics. This has got to have a mythic on it. This pack, if it doesn't have a mythic, I want that Hydra. All right. Ashiok Dream Render. So we're not going to get one of the mythic planeswalkers. So no Bolas. Ah! Oh, another time wipe. All right. We got to look at this quick. I think this is four duplicate rares. You know, without them being foil, because I'm pretty sure we got Time Wipe, Mizium Tank, the Arcanist. I mean, they're, that, that's the, the tough thing, is when they're, when they're bad, it feels that much worse. So there's the Arcanist. There's the Tank. There's that. Did, did I miss one? I thought I saw the... Yep, there's Time Wipe. Look at that, man. That is four duplicate rares. Wizards. I'm just I'm just hoping you see me, because I, I like you guys. We're friends. You help me, I help you. You don't have to do this. Instead, give me one more of these. Okay. Thank you so much for watching Booster Duplication. Until next time, have a wonderful night.